has been hijacked. However, there's a syndicate of real estate companies that have gone to court, and this is the information that we got from inside. That have gone to court, and through the courts, they have managed to get ownership of some units in this building and the people are paying them rent however no services are paid this has been admitted by the people who stay here no services are paid i think you saw that there's also dumping uh, in the passages of the flats no electricity is paid no water is paid the people have admitted that they pay rent but there is no services there's no city of Jobek uh, 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 um, no connection. connections that yeah. have happened here. Yeah. They don't even get municipal accounts. So Park Lane is confirmed that it's a hijacked building. We have asked one of the gentlemen that they gave us his number, uh, a certain Ryan. He says they own 17 of the 40 units here. But he cannot tell us how did they get these 17 units. Yeah. We have invited him for a meeting tomorrow at 9 here at Park Lane. So we'll be coming here. He has avoided to say he's coming. He said he will send people. However, we will phone him that we want to see him in person. We are visiting another company. Uh, that is called, what is the name of this company? What's the name Mansfield. of that? Mansfield. 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 Mansfield, yeah. Mansfield. There's a company called Mansfield here. We also got their number. There's a notice on the wall with, with their banking details. When we called the number, the lady at the reception does not know the address of the office where she goes to work every day. The office is based in uh, Boxback. She referred me to her manager to give me the address. The manager could not take the call and some lady gave me a different address of a different company which is also a real estate so in the race and the taxes so it's uh also which is on my own individual so i own an individual yes that's why it's a body corporate mm -hmm. no no you must but if you conduct you must fight it to you right call it no, I don't have the number. You have to go to them. To Mafati. What is Mafati? Mafati, come back. Hey, you are a little bit. no <laughs> Yeah. yeah, that's what we do. So, what are numbers? We can take a call. 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 We can but we are not in the house. MMC of Public Safety, the Nitrabu, MMC of Health and Social Development, Eni Makafula, MMC of Human Settlement, Anthea Leach. We are on the ground. Show, show, Baba, show, Baba, show, Baba. We are going into this building. We are waiting for EMS. We are here to work. But we are not here to be sitting in the houses warming ourselves with soup. Our people want Tobek, Berea, Hillbro, Uville uh, to be back to its glory days. Yes. We're standing under the umbrella for two minutes. We're going in. EMS is coming. Yeah. We are inspecting this building. Because of the spirit of Ubuntu, we are not uh, evicting today. 
but we are giving warnings. Because it's raining, it's cold, we don't want to put people on the street. We will come back and put them on the street because they would have known that they are staying in unsafe and healthy buildings. Salute! On Spaisani, Manje Namshaj. Our people even elected Mapantiti to go in, into the council. What can you do? Ex-convicts were elected daylight. Now, Le Pantit, once he elected to be in council, he meets the requirements of being a mayor. That's why that ex-prisoner is an acting mayor. Because he qualifies. Once he qualifies to be a councillor, he qualifies to be a, a, an a acting mayor or even a full mayor. Because I got the other ex-prisoner was a ex mayor there in some small dorpy. He thought he was going to be a celebrity. He realized the distance. Yes, this is too much. <laughs> he resigned and came back. And then when he comes back, he wants to disrupt Kane. <laughs> eh? He thought those things of being a mayor is a child's play. Ah. So, you created the crisis. South Africans created a crisis they must solve in 2024. We work with what we have. You have given us ex-prisoners. In Johannesburg, it's worse. Because you cannot do anything without those ex-prisoners, both sides. But to show the hypocrisy of South Africans, when the ex-convicts work with DA, you don't say, hey, the ex-convicts, this ex-convicts, that. Mapantiti, you only remind us of them when they come to work with us. But when they work with DA, no one says, why is DA working with the ex-convicts? So, uh, no EFF went to Sun City uh, or Hoshimampur to go and fetch a prisoner and made it a councillor and made it a, a acting mayor. It is the people of Johannesburg who took ex-convicts and elected them into council. And then, you said to us, work with them. We are working with what we have. That's what coalition means. It's not an EFF problem. It's a problem we found and we are trying to navigate to save this beautiful city of Johannesburg. Go and raid our MMCs. Go and raid them. There's no one here who came to this press conference or who left home this morning and never met a a, a, a JMPD a stop and go. They are everywhere. He makes them to work to a point where they even do cleanup campaign, which is not part of their mandate. But he makes them go beyond the call of duty for the sake of our people. Those are the types of MMCs we want in the EFF. You want to judge us in Johannesburg? Go and look at our MMCs and what they are doing.